Welcome to the Praise Cafe Show. I'm your host, Robert Brock, and we are here with the one and only Mr. Jonathan Nelson. Yes. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having well, me. Absolutely. Glad to have you now. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us where we are? Okay. I, I was telling you off camera, mm -hmm. I'm a bit delirious mm -hmm. because I have been in so many different cities in the past right. 15, 16 days. Uh, but I do know I'm in Charlotte, okay. North Carolina. And why, why are we here? We're here because I'm doing a CD release listening party. For? Here. Oh, you're talking about for yeah. the city of Charlotte. No, CD release. Oh, CD release. Oh, for Fearless. See, I told you. Okay, there's a, I'm delirious, y'all. For Fearless, the brand new CD. Perhaps y'all see this, this dapper young man right here. Uh, for the brand new CD, it's called Fearless. And um, I'm just really excited. It's been the... Um, the, really one of the most exciting times of my life. I feel like I'm a new artist. I feel like a brand new kid all over again. Right. Wow. Um, and I'm very, very, very excited about okay. it. So I, thank you all for having me. Absolutely. Glad you're here. And for those that don't know you, if, if you tell them that famous anthem of yours, Finish Strong, yes. you know who he is, correct? That would be me. Um, I got a couple of them out there. You, you do, know, you do. Finish Strong and My Name is Victory. I think yeah, those two absolutely. would be the most popular, you know, it, uh, songs right. associated with me. Yes, got it. Also, I just discovered that healed. I wrote that as well. Donald Lawrence. Donald yeah. Lawrence recorded yeah. it. Donald Lawrence is my mentor. Yeah. And um, I celebrate him wherever I go mm -hmm. um, because he gave me a chance. Yeah. And he gave me a platform. Yeah. You, but know. you wrote that wonderful song. Absolutely. Wow. God gave it to me, and I'm grateful. Before you came out. Yeah. Oh, way, way, way. Um, I. I wrote that song probably back in 2002, 2003, mm -hmm. and um, two, I wrote around 2002 because I recorded it on an independent project, of which, long story short, I let Donald hear the CD. Um, I remember it vividly the day he heard it for the right. first time, and uh, we were sitting in the car, um, my, Donald, uh, my brother Jason and myself, mm -hmm. we were sitting in the car just kind of listening to some of the music that God mm -hmm. had given me, and Donald just paused. and. He said, man, Jonathan, he said, you got to let me record this song. I said, you're Donald Lawrence. Come on. Like, it, it, for me, it was a no-brainer. Right. You know, and I honor God for him. I honor God for um, that connection because that, even that one moment right there, but not just that moment, but that song mm -hmm. really changed my life, and I'm just wow. forever grateful. Great. Yes, All right, we're going to take a break right now, and we'll be right back with Mr. Jonathan Nelson. Thanks for tuning in with, back in with us, Miss, with Mr. Jonathan Nelson, still here hanging out. Uh, CD title, Fearless. Fearless. How did that come about? The, can, I, can I tell you the long version of it? Yeah. Okay, um, I have a friend, perhaps you you may have heard of this young lady, her name is Tasha Cox. Mm -hmm. She's my friend and my sister, and um, I always... I'm always fully enamored of, uh, with the way God just uses her on, on, on the platform. Right. And I just love the way God uses her. And so I was at her live recording and I told her, I was like, Tasha, you're just so fearless and just so ferocious, you know, in your worship on stage. Mm -hmm. And so we started talking about the new CD. Long, that's, the long, that's the long version of the story. But we were talking about the new CD. And this is around December, November 2014. And I told her, I said, God was leading me in new, to new territory, and I believe that God was going to use me in a, a different kind, a fresh, new way. And I said, well, I'm just trying to find that. I said, I want a, I want a one-word brand. And I said, I'm just trying to find that one-word brand. She said, well, why don't you use the word fearless, and why don't you embrace everything that that word means? Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I paused while she was talking to me. I'm sure at one moment, it was almost like she was still talking, and I just heard, and, you know, I just heard one, 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 almost. Uh, and not in a negative way because it's like my mind escaped that moment and I literally saw me on stage. I saw God use wow. me and, uh, in, a, in a wonderful way mm -hmm. and literally I began to embrace what this word means for me wow. that day. And instantly I knew that's what I'm supposed to say. Wow. And that's the reason why I'm telling, that's the reason why that word was birthed in my spirit to, to say to her because it was what I was really supposed to say for myself. Wow. And so... Um, we're here, the, the brand new CD, Fearless, it, right. it, is, it is doing very well, and I'm just honored, man. Right. I'm, just, I'm just grateful. I, you know, God is just so faithful. Right. So I'm wow, I'm excited. It's great. I got my copy. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. by the way, i got to ask a different question. Okay. You got, you're a twin. I am. And I know twins are usually pretty in sync. 
Okay, yeah, we are. Okay. Now, usually from a spiritual standpoint, you know, you have a spiritual connection as well. So both of you guys sing. Yes. Christian. Absolutely. And do, do you have a deeper connection outside of that twin? We don't have a deeper connection when it comes to me feeling his pain and I'm feeling his pain. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not like that. I think identical twins. I have a, mm -hmm. a um, some friends that are identical twins, and I know that their connection is very, very, mm -hmm. very deep. Like right. They talk hours upon hours okay. every day. Right. Jason and I might miss some days talking, right. but we talk over text or something mm -hmm. every week. Um, but we do have a, uh, our twin connection is interesting. Um, for example, we both are called to ministry. Mm -hmm. We both sing. Mm -hmm. um, um, we both are, you know, gospel artists, mm -hmm. if I can use that terminology. Yeah. Um, and we both have families. Mm -hmm. um, he has a son and a daughter. I have a son and a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, our kids are the same age wow. and the same distance <laughs> of years. Right. Um, our son came uh, first. My son is 16. His daughter is 16. Mm -hmm. They're four months apart. My son is older. Right. And then our, our children are six and a half, seven years different. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. He has a son. His son came first and my daughter came after. Wow. And it's a difference of four months as right. well. So wow. it's a very interesting... <laughs> Isn't that very interesting? Yeah. But it's a it's a twin thing, and right. I can't really explain it other right. than that. Right. So we do have a connection. Mm -hmm. um, we say one to twin powers activate right. because um, when we are, especially in ministry mm -hmm. and when we're working and singing mm -hmm. or doing something together, we're we're very 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 connected and we're That's very right. um, synchronized. Yeah. That's you know, what I was the, going with. the oh the wavelength is there. Mm -hmm. um, I I could be saying something um, in presenting a song. And he'll say, Jonathan, oh my God, God just told me to say that. And he'll just touch my touch me on the shoulder and he'll jump in and say something. And then, you know, we'll kind of finish each other's, you know, mm -hmm. kind of moment. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very God connected and mm -hmm. it's very so we have we have a deep connection, but it's a different kind of a connection. Right. By being wow. fraternal twins. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Um that wonderful song on your new album, Anything yes. Can Happen. Yes, yes. How did that song come about? Song came about because a, a young man by the name of Shaman Scales out of Tennessee told him I would shout him out everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. The same way Donald Lawrence shouted me out. He mm -hmm. submitted the song to me. And um, I listened to the song. And for about two hours, I just kept looping the song around. And that anything can happen in here. Mm -hmm. The thing just lived in my spirit. And um, I told him, I said, man, I got to record this song. You got to let me record this song. And I told him, I said, well, what I need to do is I just kind of need to tweak it, you know, to make it feel mm -hmm. like me can I can so would you give me permission to kind of kind of like reconfigure it not not completely rewrite it but re reconfigure it mm -hmm. so I can say it the way I feel God is telling me to say it although yeah. it's your you know yeah. so he we, we ended up co-writing a song yeah. and um, to me it's such a powerful song okay. that speaks to where people are right now I love it uh, it's been on repeat since I've gotten it Amen. however we do have you singing that line uh, can you tell our audience what they're getting ready to watch okay listen y'all this is my brand new single stay tuned I promise this song is gonna bless you stay tuned Absolutely. for anything can happen we'll be back back with mr. Jonathan Nelson still talking about his wonderful CD called fearless yes I want to take you a little different now um, you sing all around, you minister music at church as well. Yes, yes, sir. You grew up in church because your dad was a pastor. Right. right, was a pastor but still a preacher. Okay, still uh -huh. a preacher. Mm -hmm. um, one question I always love to ask okay. is, what do you think is the church's greatest challenge today? I think the church's greatest challenge today is finding a way to merge the demographics of the millennials mm -hmm. on the next generation into... Um, to help them to become, um, you know, like back in the day, for example, in my dad's church, after service was over, all the young people would run to the drums and mm -hmm. to the music and to the organ. And those young people that right after church that you would hear them tinkering, so to speak, mm -hmm. in five years would end up being the musicians for the church. And you rarely, rarely see that, you know, because we have a lot of mega ministries. We have a lot of ministries that are booming. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a lot of development in that area. Um, so sometimes I feel like the millennials are kind of left out. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they're not even infused in some in some ministries. They're not even infused in the way we do church, the etiquette of it, the showing them how to do what you do. Right. You know, um, and uh, I believe it's an outcry coming from them, of which God has really. I think that's also a part of my 
mission with Fearless mm -hmm. to find a way to bridge the gap, mm -hmm. um, to find a way to reach out to them, um, to let them know that it's okay and it's cool to worship Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to worship Jesus by listening to gospel music. Yeah. And this CD, you know, for example, on the CD, I got Todd Tribbett. Mm -hmm. I partnered with my brother, Todd Tribbett. Of course, Jason's on there. Partnered with Kimberrell, mm -hmm. Dorinda Clark Cole, yeah. African worship artist by the name of Sonny Badu, who's my mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. And The Truth, mm -hmm. who is a Christian hip hop yeah. rapper, artist. And Fearless, the title track, is like a, it's like a dance beat. It's like a, it's like a dance pop beat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then right in the middle of the song, like, boom, mm -hmm. it just drops into this hip hop beat. Yeah. And it gets crazy. And I wanted this to be a way to be able to reach uh, a wider audience. Mm -hmm. I even changed my imagery. You know, I'm dressed like this today. Mm -hmm. I'm not dressed like a church kid, so mm -hmm. to speak, although I'm a church kid at heart. Mm -hmm. Even the imagery on the CD cover, because when people see it, the, the packaging, I wanted it to be, uh, I, I wanted to introduce a different side of me, and I wanted it to be attractive to those that may not be churchy, right, right. because I wanted to be able to reach the, the demographics of 18 to 30, mm -hmm. 18 to 35, 18 to 40, gotcha. you know, where it's, it's cool to be like this, and it's cool to be saved, gotcha. and, and, and cool to love Jesus. So I think that's one of the areas that we really kind of need to change and focus okay. on in the ministries. And I promise you, if you work on the on involving the millennials, you'll have a thriving ministry. Ah, great. Absolutely. Okay, and then you mentioned Jesus. Making Jesus real to an unbeliever world. Mm -hmm. What do you think we can do? Well, I, I believe that I started by this product. Mm -hmm. Fearless on the CD, I wanted it to make it attractive to mm -hmm. to worship God. And I say that because we declare the name of Jesus over and over and over again. And I wanted people, or I, sh I shouldn't say wanted, my desire mm -hmm. and my want and my wish is that people, when they listen to the CD, that they will say, well, who is this Jesus that Jonathan is singing about? Mm -hmm. And if they're a non-believer, that they will come into the light, mm -hmm. you know, and that they will come into a greater knowledge of who Jesus is mm -hmm. for themselves. Right. I, I hope that it, it becomes so attractive through the music that people say, man, this Jonathan, he, he's, this guy is really singing about this Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I want to know to get this Jesus that Jonathan is singing about. Right, right. And I'm hoping that, and it's my prayer, that it infiltrates the mind and the spirit of the believer, right. the non-believer, should I say, right. to become a believer, gotcha. where we don't have to have an, an altar call, per se, where people are running, but hopefully this will be a tool that will introduce Christ to someone that may not right. believe. Got it. Okay. Now, Fearless, I noticed that the songs, um, as I was listening to them and the way that the wording in those songs, it actually ties in to help you be fearless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's just word. I mean, the words. Absolutely. Those songs. You have that song, uh, I love, with the, uh, the African beat, I Believe. Yes, I Believe. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's, 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 the, it's the, it's I Believe, Alan Metley. Um, what I wanted to do also was infuse different sound. Mm -hmm, For did. example, I told you about Fearless mm -hmm. with, 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 with uh, The Truth. Yeah. The song Ty Tribbett does, it's an up-tempo mm -hmm. kind of church song, but we made it more celebration mm -hmm. than church. I'm from Pentecost. Gotcha. Well, should I say I have a Pentecostal background? Yeah. So I wanted to have like that infused, but I wanted to make it cool mm -hmm. to be Pentecostal. Got it. You know, because back in the day, you think, you know, they have no makeup, no jewelry, oh. long skirts, and talking about the women in particular, <laughs> no movies, all that kind of stuff. So you know it's dreadful. Right, right, you right, come right. to church, you're all covered up, you know. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so I wanted to make it cool to dance and to celebrate and lift your hands and move your feet and praise God. I believe is my church is in South Florida, mm -hmm. and it's a melting pot of culture. Mm -hmm. And this CD is a melting pot of culture, but culture. But I wanted I believe to to stand out not just to the island culture, mm -hmm. but to be a song that will before you know it, like oh, all right, mm -hmm. feet is moving, mm -hmm. feet are moving. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, hands are moving. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you're rocking and you're singing a song which would disarm you. Um, and then you'll begin to sing what the lyric is saying. Mm -hmm. So the lyric says, I believe you are the God of miracles. Uh -huh. You are the God of wonders. Right. You are the God all powerful. I believe, I believe. Uh -huh. And um, if you start saying that, although it's fun, at some point you're going to start really engaging uh -huh. this as word for your life. Yeah. When you hit a tough spot and you put the beat on, then you say, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, you are the God of miracles. 
You are the God of wonders. Right. You're the God. And wonders mean wonders to perform. Wonders like where it, it blows your mind. And so when you keep rehearsing that thing, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, you know, you have to make a confession. We first, in order to become saved, we make a confession right. and say, I believe that you are, right. you know, Jesus, you are Lord. And so you're making this confession. The Bible says, decree a thing and it shall be established. Right. So you're speaking these things and subliminally these songs are getting in your spirit. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you're singing a song, but then you're really beginning to believe what it is that you're saying. So yeah. when you say, I believe, it is connecting with your faith, but it's also connecting with your your innate ability to speak over yourself right. and speak to those things that be not right. as though they already are. Absolutely. So when you start dancing and stuff, you say, I believe, but then stuff's just, miracles start happening because right. you believe. Right. And that's the reason why we say stuff like anything can happen. Right. We're saying these things um, because we're putting words or lyrics in the mouths of the listener. Mm -hmm. or Because I say people of God, but I say that by default right. because I'm a church guy. Mm -hmm. But it may not even be a believer. Right. And before you know it, you start singing that song, you be disarmed and... Right. And you really start believing, and then you have you will watch the hand of God mm -hmm. literally move and change circumstances and things in your life because of what you're saying out of your mouth. Right. Wow. I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe. I believe. I believe. Well, absolutely. Um, tell us where you, we can find you. You Twitter. can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. My name is backwards at Nelson Jonathan. You can find me on my website, Jonathan Nelson US. And then on Facebook, you can find me, Jonathan Nelson Music. Look me up. It's me, guys. I try to holler back. I get a lot of inboxes, a lot of messages. Hit me up. I would love to hear from you. Get the CD. Absolutely. It's a great CD. One last thing, too. Baba O. Baba O. <laughs> Listen, I, my my friend is by, named Sonny Badu. Uh -huh. he, he is the one that's leading the song. He's from... He's from Ghana, uh -huh. um, but he is a very popular artist all over Africa, all over the world, uh -huh. really. And um, we were in Nigeria, uh -huh. and we were doing a, a worship service there. And just the, the backdrop is there were thousands upon thousands of Africans that were just on the ground. I mean, like literally face down to the ground, to the grass, to the dirt. I'm talking like worshiping clothes dirty, but they were just going after God. We come to the campgrounds and we hear this sound, this sound called Baba. And I'm like, Lord, what is, what are they saying? Mm -hmm. And they explained to me, Baba means father. But it's in the Nigerian dialect and the Nigerian culture, when you, they said English words can't measure up to how deeply spiritual right. and how deep the connection is. So they have to say it in their, in their, um, their language, which gives it a deeper connection, a right. deeper belief, a wow. deeper cry. Mm -hmm. So when you say Baba, you say it, Father in a different kind of way. Father as in God. Father God. Yeah. Right. You know, hear my cries. Open the floodgates uh, in abundance mm -hmm. and cause your rain to follow me. So you can imagine the outcry in Africa until those places are right. impoverished. When, when, So their cry, when they say Baba, it's a different kind of cry. Right. And so I'm hoping that the travail that we experience in Africa when you're in your car, that you will have that same travail in your heart, in mm -hmm. your spirit going after God like Baba God I need you right, I need you to shower blessings and I need you to pour blessings in my life and for my family wow that's amazing yes sir anybody watching that may be going through and based on what you said about father what would you say to them I would say whatever your situation is first of all you have the power in your mouth to speak to your circumstance so all you have to do is just pause first if you're not saved invite God to come into your life Secondly, if you're in a if you're in a place where you are not sure what to do, all you have to do is just pause and pray. Open up your mouth, speak to God about your situation, and the God of your situation will come and intervene on your behalf. All you have to do is just tell the Lord, "Hey God, I need you to take care of the situation." You don't have to say anything fancy. You just say it however it comes to your heart to say. Speak to your circumstance, speak to your situation. Call on Baba, God, our Father, and I promise He'll answer your prayer. Wow, amazing. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you, Pat.